What? Okay. Ernie wants me to tell you about the best places to play and run around here in the Burlington area within 10 minutes of where we live. You sure? Okay, stay tuned. To be honest, I don't know if this is really a good idea, but Ernie seems to want me to do it, so I'm going to do it. He wants me to tell you about the 10 great places that he likes to go that are all within 10 minutes of our home here in the north end of Burlington. And I think his thinking is that if we give you these 10 ideas, you may bring a really nice dog along, one that's been suffering from not knowing where to go. And so Ernie's making it his mission to make sure that your dog gets a great time, but also that he gets a great time too. Number one is Durway Island, just two minutes away from where we live, near the end of North Avenue. Uh, there's a sewage treatment plant and you turn into that dirt road and right behind the sewage treatment plant, there's a path that leads off into the woods and into a loop around the river. It's an absolutely beautiful place. We run alongside the river. Often we'll see deer back there. It's a nice path. You go in one way and come back out the same way. And it's about a half hour walk if you go to the official end of the path or about a 50 minute walk if you go all the way to the end of the bend in the river. That's where you run the risk of seeing other animals like deer and whatnot. So worth being careful of that. The second on our list is South Woods. This is right at the very southern tip of our condo complex. There's a swath of woods that sits just on the east side of the bike path directly across from where the dog park is and it's a network of trails um, that are just beautiful and we go there every morning. Ernie loves it. Now, if you want to splurge and go as far as four minutes, then you can go to Letty Park. Letty Park, of course, is one of the great jewels of the Burlington area, and there are trails that go down toward the lake and back from the lake uh, at opposite ends of the park. And we usually walk down toward the lake, around the back of the ice rink, and then back up the other side and across a field back to the car. Lots of woods, lots of trails, lots of beauty. It's awesome. Five minutes away, we get to Arms Park. Arms Park was one that I only discovered fairly recently, and it sits behind the mega church on North Avenue, right off where the, uh, the belt line comes in over there. And it is uh, a real find. There's never anybody back there. Great trails, a fair amount of up and down, lots of cliffs, fields and woods, and going alongside of some homes. It's, it's really quite nice. Six minutes away, North Beach. Now, North Beach is a seasonal option. In the summertime, not a great place to let your dog off leash, but right now in the winter, we go in there pretty often, and don't tell anybody, but we love running around North Beach, uh, not just down by the beach, but also up where the campground is on the east side of the bike path. Now we're going all the way up to seven minutes. Ethan Allen Homestead. A tremendous place. Ethan Allen Homestead is down from where we live, North Avenue, and just past where Arms Park is. We make a left onto the Beltline, and we make another left as we cross over the Beltline and into the Ethan Allen Homestead area. And from the parking lot, we usually walk straight back toward the river. And as we move in that direction, we could either make a right or a left, and there are two different trail networks. They're both beautiful. One of them runs alongside the river and it's awesome. Also seven minutes away, McRae Farm. If we head from north end of Burlington down Plattsburgh Avenue onto the Beltline, over onto Prim Road and then make a right down McRae Road, we go all the way to the very end and it's part of the Winooski Valley Park District. Wonderful little area where there's absolutely no chance of seeing another vehicle and hardly any other people. It's pretty great. We go all the way down the trails until we end up on a big field. We loop the field and come back around and it's a great off-leash area. Seven or eight minutes will take us to Airport Park, which is one of the few places that dogs off-leash are more or less sanctioned. I don't know that it's legal, but nobody ever says anything over there. It's great. Uh, there are ball fields up front and you might think that that's all it is, but if you go past the ball fields, you'll find a long grass strip, which used to be the airport just a small airport and then there are woods on either side of it with lots and lots of trails wonderful dogs that we get to meet there and sometimes they play out on the on the grass field together sometimes they go into the woods 
Which brings us to one of the most amazing places we go, and it is 10 minutes away, actually nine minutes away, right behind Colchester High School, but you could access it from a number of different places, and it's Colchester Woods. You could get lost in there for over an hour. It's one giant loop with lots and lots of smaller loops interlooping with it. Uh, it's just an amazing place, and winter, spring, summer, or fall, it's one of our favorite places to go and take a nice long walk. And last on our list is Star Farm Dog Park, which is only five minutes from home. It's the only sanctioned off-leash dog area, and dogs meet and play in the safety of a fence. And if your dog is a flight risk, that's the place to go. And we've met lots and lots of friends there, and we hope to meet you there as well. And so that's the rundown on the top 10 under 10. There are lots and lots more places beyond the 10 minute mark, but those are just 10 places within 10 minutes of where we live here in the north end of Burlington. And that should give you a pretty good idea of how amazing this place is. See you soon.